As we were getting prepared to start, you, you said today was surreal. What part about this day is the hardest part to kind of make sense of? Uh, I think the hardest part for me is, um, you know, having to, you know, leave the city and the organization that, you know, I've been a part of for eight years. Um, the organization that gave me my first opportunity to, you know, go from a boy to a man in this league, you know, Charlotte, you know, the place that I love very much. Um, it was a really tough decision, but, you know, you know, something I had to do in order to, you know, try and fulfill some dreams of mine and compete. So, you know, it's one of the, it's one of the toughest things, you know, I, I, I definitely had to do in my career. So as this is coming into focus, and you're, and you're working through that. What was the most important determining factor to, to tell you I gotta leave this place behind me and, and move on to the next thing? Um, I think that, that's what it was, moving on to the next thing. Um, you know, just moving on to a whole new chapter in my, in my basketball career. Um, you know, I gave that city, I gave that organization every single thing I could possibly give them. And um, you know, now, you know, it's about competing at the highest level, um, which, you know, we all know Boston is doing that year in, year out. And, um, you know, I want to be a part of something, you know, really special as far as, you know, being, being able to compete at the highest level and, you know, um, give myself the best opportunity um, to make, you know, a run in the playoffs. You can hear the New York City in your voice, and we know that you played in UConn as well, and now you, you take it even further to the Northeast and, and Boston. And I just am curious, growing up, whether you were back in the day or in UConn or wherever, just what the idea of the Celtics represented. Oh, man. When you think of the Celtics, you think of championships. Sure. You think of winning. Um, and that's what I'm about. I'm about, you know, competing for championships and winning. You know, that's something I haven't been able to do throughout the, you know, the early years of my career. Um, you know, I haven't been a consistent winner in this league. And, you know, I just felt like Boston was the best fit for me to, you know, try and accomplish those kind of goals. You're one of the huge stories, but we had an idea this might happen. And there's all these kind of shocks that, well, this guy's going here, this guy's going there. How much are you a consumer, Kemba? of what's going on, whether it's your friends or the teams you're going to compete with, the, the craziness of this day. How much are you able to pay attention? Um, not much at all, honestly. I'm, I'm really finding out everything through my friends. Um, these guys have been texting me in the group chat, and just, just whoever signs somewhere, it just comes up in the group chat. So um, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my lifeline right there. Without those guys, I, I wouldn't know anything. I wasn't going to ask the corny question about tweets, but I do. I am curious about this. Like, what level friend slash family member do you have to be to get a return text from you today? Because I got to believe that that bubble is like 200, 300, whatever. What's the level to get a return and reply? Oh uh, man, you got you got to be up there. <laughs> I, I imagine you so. Be up there. I imagine so. Listen, uh, as the line goes, uh, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, and you're here with us, and we appreciate it. I know you got places to go and people to see and celebrate. So thank you so much, Kemba. Good luck in Boston. All right. No problem. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.